I swear, man, the WWE Fed is bad, and the AEW Fed is good, man. That's all I got to say, man. Like I said, MJF, please stay where you're at. Do not go to the WWE, but to stay where you're at, because you walk on water over there. Let me get this straight. How was MJF ready to be a world champion? Every fanboy wants MJF to be the AW world champion. Right now, as we speak, they want him to be the world champion and not Dean Ambrose. I'm like, okay, but hold on. He's the same age as Austin Theory. Those guys are around the same age. I think they're like one year apart. They're of the same age, really. So how can he be ready? But Austin Theory, the guy had who, who has been pushed for the past eight, nine months, he ain't ready for a monster push. He's not ready to be the money in the bank winner. He's not ready to be a world champion, but MJF is? Huh? What has MJF done to make you believe he's more ready than Austin Theory? I don't get dog, they are the same age. You see what I'm saying? There is a false agenda going on, bro. There is a false narrative, false agenda that's like going on right now, man. It's, it's crazy. The hypocrisy. MJF is more ready than Austin Theory? How? What? How is he not ready? They should have waited next year to give him a strong push? That makes zero sense. What has MJF done? Huh? Huh? Hold on. At least Austin Theory has won a championship on the main roster. Um... When has MJF ever won a, a title in AW? I'll wait. Da, 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 da. When has he won a title? So, his first title should be a world title? What? How is he ready? Like I said, what has he done that Austin Theory hasn't done? I don't get it. Theory has been in matches with Cody Rose, Finn Balor, AJ Styles, Bobby Lashley, Ali, all these veterans. Um, how is he now ready to be a main eventer? But MJF is? Like I said, y'all gotta stop saying he's Cena. This dude reminds me of a young Randy Orton. Even Orton is a fan of Theory. He reminds me of that Orton that had that first theme song. That, hey, nothing you can say. Nothing's gonna change what you done to me. He reminds me of that Orton. I'm telling you, man, having, having Austin Theory win that money in the bank, it, it has really freaking exposed a lot of fake fans, man. It's a lot of fake people. It's like people are not consistent. I don't get it. You are complaining that Brock Lesnar is getting another shot at Roman Reigns, right? You were saying that Roman Reigns, he has no opponents. He's saying this is their fault because they have put all their eggs in his, in his basket by not building up other people, right? By your logic. That's what you said. You said this is their fault. They don't want to build no. They don't want to build any more stars like Reigns. So now they are stuck in a corner because Reigns has no more opponents. Now they got to go back to Brock Lesnar. Okay, they obviously heard your complaints. So now they are building up Austin Theory as the next guy in line to be the face of the company and. That's still not good enough for you. You see what I'm saying? Like, I don't understand it. And it is this this thing has really exposed people. I had people telling me now they are trying to nitpick theory. Saying, oh, 
he's generic looking or he's not a good promo. I'm like, bruh, when I tell you somebody is not a good promo, I will tell you. Have I ever said he's not a good promo? What the hell do you know about being a good promo? All of my all-time fan wrestlers were a good promo, so I think I would know who's a bad promo and who's not a good promo. Dumbass. Austin Theory can talk. He's a good promo. Who said he's not a good promo? That's what you want, nitpick? It's like I had somebody tell me he is generic looking. I'm like, wow, I've never heard anybody tell me that about Theory. You want to nitpick that? Okay, how is he generic looking? He looks like a wrestler. <laughs> like, what? If he's generic looking, what is Adam Cole? If he's generic looking, what is MJF? What is Warlow? Bruh, he wears wrestling attire. What makes him generic? I don't understand that. You see, when you say dumb stuff like that, you, you will get blocked. Because I don't allow dumb people in my comment section. That means you are an idiot by saying stuff like that. What makes him generic? Huh? This dude is compared to John Cena. And you're saying he's generic looking? Hell, I guess uh, Randy Orton back in 02, 03, 04 was freaking generic looking. Right by your logic. I guess a young Randy Orton was generic looking. I guess Brock Lesnar was generic looking. What do you want him to wear? How should he look? You want to nitpick that? All because Matt Rilla didn't win? Bruh, nobody wants to see Matt Rilla as a world champion. The majority of people don't want to see him beat Reigns. Okay? Roman Reigns should not be beat by a goofy character like Matt Riddle. He's a goofy character. He's more goofier than Rob Van Dam. Let that sink in for a second. He's goofy. You, you, Reigns should be beaten by a goofy guy? No. Matt Riddle will not be the face of this company years from, years from now. So what's the point? Roman Reigns has to be beaten by a guy that's younger than him and that will carry this company 10 years from now. Have you ever heard of passing the goddamn torch? It's like you gotta make up your mind. And here's the difference between him and Brock Lesnar. See, when Brock Lesnar won the money in the bank, I can understand people's frustrations. Because it felt like they were holding down their younger talent, right? He didn't need it. It's so like, bro, he was he was he was in his forties. Brock Lesnar does not need a money in the bank briefcase to challenge for a world title. So people felt like that that was a waste of time, which was true. I felt like that was a waste of time. So I could understand that, but. Austin Theory is 24 years old, 25 years old. The Money in the Bank briefcase is made for young wrestlers who are up and coming. Have you ever heard of A Star is Born? The Money in the Bank briefcase is to make people into stars, not people who are already stars. It's like, I'm going to say it again, I don't like CM Punk, but CM Punk was made into a star because he won Money in the Bank. Sheamus. Money in the Bank. The Miz. The first time he ever won the World Championship was when he won the Money in the Bank. Dolph Ziggler was made into a star once he won the Money in the Bank briefcase. That briefcase is for guys like Austin Theory. It's made for guys like that. It's, it's not made for guys like Seth Rollins. Not anymore. He's been there, done that, but I wouldn't have minded if he would have won. Because that that would have made sense based on him and Cody. That would have made sense, but I don't mind Austin Theory winning. It's like, I don't get it, man. It's like, people are saying, oh, he's not ready. I would have waited till next year. I'm like, wow, man. Where have you been at? You don't hear my videos or something, right? 
Wait till next year. Okay, by your logic. How come Warlow has lost all his momentum? Who was the only guy on YouTube making videos saying Warlow is buried? That they should have struck while the iron was hot with, with Warlow. Who was saying that? I was saying I was the only one saying that. I was the only one saying they dropped the ball on Warlow ever since he beat MJF. I said he should have challenged for the world title and not the goddamn TNT title. That's what I said. I said he should have faced Dean Ambrose and not freaking Scorpio Sky. This dude world love went from being the hottest guy in the company to beating up 20-something security guards for no reason. And his momentum hasn't been the same since. All I said was, bruh, have him in that battle royal. Have him face Dean Ambrose. Have him beat Dean Ambrose. So, so you can make some new stars. It's like, what the, like, how was that an issue? That's all I said. And now look where Warlow is at now. He's not hot. He has no momentum. Nobody cares about him, Scorpio Sky. All I said was strike while the iron is hot now. Because he's not going to be guaranteed that momentum years from now or next year or months from now you gotta strike while the iron is hot I don't care how I don't care about his age I don't care how, how young he is I don't care how old he is you strike while the iron is hot this is pro wrestling where you are the flavor of the month until the fans get bored of you the fans already got bored of Warlock because he's been exposed as a dumb idiot he's Braun Strowman how the hell how the hell you guys gonna say I don't wanna challenge CM Punk for the interim title? I want him healthy. I'm like, what? I'm like, bro, you're gonna if you were to be the interim champion, you're gonna have to face him anyway. So just take the damn title now. See, he's he's buried. Strike while the iron is hot. That's what they should have done. Now Warlord's buried. Austin Theory. He, want, he is one of the hottest guys on our main roster. Ever since Cody has gone down with that injury. He's hot. Okay, strike while well, iron is hot. Theory is not guaranteed to be this hot next year. So why wait next year? This is pro wrestling. Cody Rose got injured. Austin Theory can't get injured. Enough with this crap. Enough with, oh, half him wait. Oh, really? Really? Dog. Cody Rhodes is he's going to be out for the next nine months. So life ain't guaranteed, bro. Your health is not guaranteed. Wrestling is not guaranteed to nobody. You can't plan out. You can't plan out a, out a damn thing, right? Cody Rhodes was supposed to have beaten Reigns for the world title, but now Cody Rhodes has to wait. Now plans have have changed because he got he he got hurt, right? Rose got hurt. So now they got to pivot to something else. They, they got to find a new guy to be the flagship of Monday Night Raw. And that's Austin Theory, a young guy. Dog, he's like 24, 25 years old. I'm like, hold on, man. It, like, people, I, I had this one dumbass say, I had a problem with Theory in the match because he didn't do anything. Like, people are saying he didn't do anything in that match, in the money in the bank match. People say he didn't do anything. He was just laying around. Okay, that's what a heel does. You see what I'm saying? I I hate people, man. It's like, you got guys like MJF who walks on water. He's like, he is our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, man. I swear, man. You had MJF literally tell Wardlow, when you win the TNT Championship, you have to hand it over to me. Um, ain't that lazy? Um, but ain't that what a heel does? Make you hate him because he does stuff like that? See what I'm saying? Look, if MJF did this in AEW, People will say, oh, what a great heel. 
that's the double standard in AEW. And that's why I feel like he needs to stay where he's at. Because he is he is protected over there. It's like MJF, he has done this for years, where he he where he has let other people do the work for him to gain success. Austin Theory let those other guys beat the hell out of each other. Then he took advantage and grabbed the briefcase. Okay, that's what a heel does. Let me say it again. That's what a heel does. Then I had this guy say, the crowd's not behind Theory. Okay, they're not supposed to be, they're not supposed to be behind him. He's a heel. He's a bad guy. He's the crowd's not supposed to be behind him. He's a heel. H E E E L. A heel. He's not supposed to have a crowd be behind him or cheer him. You're supposed to hate him. We all thought Cody Rose was gonna be in a match, but no, they went with they went with Theory to get him more heat. He's the biggest heel in the goddamn company, and it's freaking genuine. I don't get it, man. There's a double standard, man. That's 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 creepy. MJF does a lot of heel stuff that he gets praised for. Theory is like Theory. He does not get any any praise for his heel work, which is very disrespectful. So it's only a good thing when a heel does stuff that you want him to do, but. But, but it's a bad thing when a hell does stuff that you don't want him to do. What? So you didn't like how the way Austin Theory did in the match, right? You thought he was lazy? You thought he was just handed the damn briefcase without doing any hard work? Okay, that's what a hell does. So that's a problem for you. Austin Theory doing the heel stuff because he's a heel. You don't like when he does heel stuff, but you are all for when MJF does heel stuff, right? Nah, bro, it don't, it don't, it don't freaking work that way, bro. Not on my watch. Not on my watch, dog. You ain't getting, you ain't getting away with that. That's a double standard. That's what I'm saying. I, I don't think MJF should come to the WWF. Stay your ass over there, bro. You are protected. You are a god over there. Everything MJF does is freaking praised. But Austin Theory does heel stuff and it gets crapped on, even though he's a great heel. I don't, I don't get it, dog. It's creepy. It's like fed. It's like fed bad. <laughs> it's like that's what it is. It's fed bad. It's, it's creepy. I don't get it. It's like... I don't get it. You're saying they don't make young stars anymore, right? They, they don't make young stars. Here you have 25-year-old Austin Theory winning the Money in the Bank briefcase, which is made for guys like him. And you're saying he's not ready. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. You're saying... They don't have any stars after Reigns leaves. And here they are building up a 25-year-old kid, a 25-year-old guy. And you're saying they should wait another year to push him. But you just said they don't build up new young stars. My God, man. My God, man. You wrestling fans are just are just embarrassing. You are just, you are virgins. <laughs> you act like virgins. You act like freaking Star Wars fan. You are virgins, man. It's like, wow. Think about that logic. They don't build up new stars. Here they have Austin Theory, a young guy, young young star who's on a come up. You're saying they should wait another year. He ain't ready. Who? Who the hell? Who the hell is ready then? Then shut up. Stop complaining. If that's your logic, if if that's if that's your logic. If they don't build up new stars, but you are complaining that they are building up a, a fucking freaking young guy, Austin Theory. Wow, how stupid do you look? You, 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 people, people really, really hate the WWE, dog. Wow, 
Stam, dude. What did Vince McMahon do? To, do what did he do to y'all? Did he touch you in a way that made you uncomfortable? Like, did he bang your mom? Like, what did what did what did Vince do to you? Like, dude. Like, did he steal your lunch money? <laughs> like, you hate him that bad? Where it's like, it's damn if they do and damn if they don't. I like, wow, man. First of all, I want to address some it, some dumbass that said the crowd is not behind Austin Theory. Wow, why why would a crowd get behind a heel? But let me poke holes in that logic. Let me tell you. Let, let me tell you what a heel is. Let me freaking educate you on what a heel is. Did you hear the ovation that Bobby Lashley had when he was facing Theory? The crowd was saying, Bobby, Bobby. They were cheering him. They were cheering Bobby Lashley. Why? Because he was beating up Austin Theory. Um, Ain't that what a hell is supposed to do? I want you to go and search for a video. Al Snow in wrestling school. You know what he said at a seminar? He said... The job of the heel is to get the baby face over. Oh my God. What a, what a concept. Wow, that's news to me. Wow, I didn't know that was a heel job. Really? Tell me more. <laughs> he said the heel job is to get the baby face over. Last time I checked, Bobby Lashley was not this over as a babyface before Austin Theory. Dog, do you remember his feud he had with Omos? That was a very boring feud that nobody cared about. It was Omos and MVP for like a whole month. Nobody cared about that feud. In fact, it was actually lowering down Bobby Lashley's momentum. Bobby Lashley has gained back that momentum because of Austin Theory. That crowd popped big when Theory lost that title. You know why? He's a great heel. That audience loves seeing him get his ass whooped. Right? For example, in that Money in the Bank match, do you... Remember the spot where Sheamus and Drew McIntyre were, were freaking treading blows with Austin Theory. They were trying to one-up each other. And the crowd popped for it. Why? Because the crowd likes seeing Austin Theory get his ass whooped. Because he's a great heel. i like, wow, like this? You don't understand this? Like, what? Bobby Lashley is a heel. He's a face, right? Lashley is a face. Theory is a heel. That crowd was cheering on Bobby Lashley. I've never seen Lashley that over with the audience, bro. I've never seen him that over. That audience was hot for Lashley to beat Theory. Because that crowd does not like Theory. Because he's a great heel. He's genuine. Right? That's what a heel is. A heel is supposed to get the baby face over. That's his job. And he did his job. That, I mean, bro, he, dog, I don't think they need MJF. They got theory. <laughs> what the hell do you need MJF for when you got Austin Theory? Who gets just as much heat as MJF does? That, that, that match reminded me of all the MJF matches where he gets the face over. Because the crowd don't, because the crowd does not like him. Theory is the best heel in the goddamn company. It's like, why don't people understand that, bro? He is the next Randy Orton. That's what he is, dog. He's the next Randy Orton. And no, he does not remind me of John Cena. It's like, nah, bro. Yeah, they might, they might look alike. But they don't act like each other. No, he acts like a young Randy Orton. 
from from 04, 05. That's that's who he acts like. He acts like Randy Orton. A, a, like a guy that's cocky and arrogant who thinks he's the future. That's what Randy Orton was as the goddamn legend killer. That's who, there he is. He's not Cena. He's Orton. Like, I don't see the comparison here. But the point is, Theory is the best heel in that company. It's like, you got to make up your mind, man. You you can't have it both ways, man. You can't crap on the WWE because they don't push young stars. Then when they push a young star, you're saying he's not ready. Okay, who is ready after him? Who's ready? Right? Who the hell is ready then, dude? Like, shut the hell up. My God, see, this is how you get blocked by me, man. When you say dumb stuff that has no logic. How can you say he's not ready for a push? He's not ready. Dog, let's, let's, let's make a law. World, worldwide in pro wrestling, right? Let's make a law. If you are under 26 years old, you shouldn't get pushed. Let's just make that a law. Okay? Because I'm tired of people saying, he's not ready. He's not ready. She ain't ready. Dog, let's just make a law, man. If you are under 26 years of age, you shouldn't be pushed. That's all I'm saying, man. I don't get it. Randy Orton was the youngest world champion in the history of the WWE. Brock Lesnar was also one of the youngest wrestlers ever to be a world champion in that company, okay? Were they not ready? Look at them now. What the what the hell, dude? Was it a mistake to make Randy Orton the youngest world champion in history? Like I said, he like I said, Theory has a lot in common with Randy Orton, right? Theory was the youngest U.S. champion in history. Randy Orton was the youngest world champion in in history. That's the, that's why I said he's the next Randy Orton. But the point is, was Brock Lesnar for that mega push that he had when he was 24, 25 years old? It's like, how old are you guys, man? I was, dog, I was of age when I seen Brock Lesnar as the next big thing. That dude got a damn rocket um, ship put on his back. That dude was pushed to the goddamn moon and nobody cared. Nobody, nobody, nobody complained. Orton got pushed like crazy when he, when he was younger. Nobody complained. Because he had the, he had the it factor. When you have the it factor, you have the it factor. It's like, man, it's like, I swear, man, the WWF, man, I feel sorry for them, man. They can't do anything right in your eyes. Once again, we have to ban all 25 roads, all 24 roads from being pushed. We we have to ban it, dude. It's sad, dude. You people keep on saying they keep on relying on Edge and these part timers, John Cena. Dog, even John Cena said they gotta start building up new new goddamn stars. Look it up. John Cena said, bro, I can't keep doing this. They are going to have to find somebody else eventually. That's what John Cena said. John Cena said, they can't keep relying on me. They are going to have to find somebody else eventually down the, down the goddamn line. And that's Austin Theory. That's Braun Breaker. Guys like that. When, uh, bro, make up, make up your goddamn mind. You will keep on saying that they keep on relying on, on all these old guys, these part timers. Then okay, they're saying okay, let's let's try to stop it. Let's give our young guy Austin Theory the money in a bank briefcase. Wow, he it's it's too early. It's too early now, right? What the hell is what's going on here? What do you want them to do? Once again, damn if you do, damn if you don't, man. 
all, all, all because your favorite wrestlers didn't win the Money in the Bank briefcase. All this heat is because Seth Rollins and Riddle didn't win it. Guys that really don't need it. Riddle is over. He don't need it. Okay, just face it. He doesn't need it. Theory needs it. Riddle is a star already. Dog, he got the rub from Orton. He's already a goddamn star. Seth is a future Hall of Famer. Theory is not. Theory is just getting started. He needs a big break. This was his star-making performance. He had a great match with Lashley, which was Lashley's best match of the whole year. He got Lashley over as a face. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't get it, man. I'm, I'm, I'm done.